I love television. Hit me! But as a black viewer and writer, I've got to say that for black characters, it's mostly a sorry bunch of thin, dime-slim, featureless nobodies that no one says, hey, that's my favorite character. For all the years we look like clowns, the joke is over, smell the smoke from all around. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck D. Let me give some examples. Spear Chucker Jones on MASH, Gordy the Sportscaster on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Jordy LaForge on Star Trek Next Generation, The Lieutenant on NYPD Blue. The few who do stand out are usually silly. Rico Tubbs on Miami Vice, B.A. Baracus on The A-Team, and from Cheers to Seinfeld to Frasier to Friends, black folks are pretty much invisible. Friends is a fantasy. I live in a world where you could go around New York City for five years and not run into a single black person. Not one. Way to go, Giuliani. Ain't no blacks on the TV screen. Thanks, Mad TV. But are things changing? I heard someone say things were changing. I'm glad to say things are changing. There's good news in dramas. ER, The Practice, and Boston Public feature multiple black characters played by fine actors. But if there's one man who's done more than anyone else to put great black characters on white American television, it's got to be Tom Fontana. And Fontana's best work has to be his incendiary prison drama, Oz. Oz is poetical, intellectual, sexual, violent, and deeply spiritual. It's a television drama unparalleled, not only for shocking content, but for dramatic intensity. It's about an experimental prison unit called Emerald City, home to competing factions of violent men allied into gangs, Aryans, Latinos, gays, Irish, Mafia, Muslims. No series has ever even tried to touch these untouchables, and Oz locks us into the same cells and shower rooms with them. And no show has ever explored so many agonizing political, religious, sexual, and moral questions. Tom Fontana's masterpiece is wrapping up its sixth and final season on Canada's Showcase Network. And in a few more Fridays, Oz leaves death row the hard way. Tom Fontana is a brilliant and much lauded writer. But I think his greatest achievement is his creation, or guidance, of so many excellent black characters. Long before Denzel Washington was an A-list money magnet, he was guided by Fontana's typewriter as the uptight Dr. Philip Chandler of the medical series St. Elsewhere. And Andre Brower was explosive as the smartest, angriest Catholic alive, Detective Frank Pembleton on the Baltimore reality-based police drama Homicide. No, 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 no. I'm tired of being the only one around here who gives a damn. You're looking at the new Frank Pimbleton, budding Republican and practicing selfish <laughs> bastard. Savior of no one but himself. And Fontana's prison show Oz rocked the box with Eamon Walker as a modern Malcolm X, the brilliant, fiery writer and fighter, Muslim minister Karim Saeed. Because even the best prison wouldn't be good enough. No, I am not saying that the men in Oz are innocent. I'm saying they are not here because of the crimes that they committed, but because of the color of their skin, the lack of education, the fact that they are poor. So how is it that a white Italian-American Catholic writes the best African-American, Nigerian, and Muslim characters on television? I was taught very early on that justice was an important thing, and any time that I see justice being subverted on any level, I get outraged. For me, the peak of Fontana's black characterization is his unveiling of a new television archetype, the driven, arrogant, conflicted, overachieving black male intellectual, what I call the Malcolm X professional. What the hell is going on? Bayless has no business talking about my investigation. Look at that. What do you want me to do? Well, put a muzzle on him. You know, the killer reads in the paper that he's the fugitive of the decade. You think he's going to stick around Baltimore? All right, Frank, take it easy. You don't want you bursting your blood vessel. You're not good to be in the hospital. I'm going to put Bayless in the hospital. The Malcolm X professional is an antidote to the 1960s through 80s black characters, which were created to counter stereotypes, but who were such squeaky clean, saccharine black invisibles that nobody could even give a milladam. Fontana's Malcolm X professionals, or MX men, aren't pleasant or funny or comforting, 
but frequently angry, sometimes about race. They don't cause be mug for the camera. Instead, they grimace, and they make white and black people around them feel tiny and stupid. They show up the phoniness of the melting pot that U.S. media pushes as reality through Crockett and Tubbs, Star Trek's race-neutral Federation America, and the whites-only screens of Friends and Cheers. And we will demonstrate once and forever how human beings pulling together can become a force for good and celebrate it in the spirit of Allah. Are you with me? Yes. I can't hear you. Are you with me? Yes! Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah. But Fontana's brothers who are gonna work it out aren't just stereotypes of a different sort, angry black man rebels with a cause. Fontana's method avoids both stereotypes and bland tokens. Instead, his approach to creating multi-dimensional black characters is by being fully aware of their blackness and forgetting it at the same time. You are absolutely right. You, are, you have nailed it uh, completely on the head. And that's as true if I'm writing a woman character or a gay character or a Chinese character. There is this bizarre schizophrenia that a writer has to approach each thing he writes with that double consciousness in mind. You have to wonder where characters are born, in a writer's experiences or in his own heart. Actually, it's both. So all characters are simply facets of a writer's life. Some characters are closer to a writer's spine than others. Tom Fontana is a brilliant writer. His Muslim minister on Oz, Karim Saeed, is also a brilliant writer. Fontana has devoted much of his work to fighting racism. Karim Saeed has devoted his life to fighting racism. Tom Fontana's sister is a Catholic nun. Karim Saeed's sister is a Christian reverend. So... Does Tom Fontana secretly have a black man lurking inside his soul? Is he Karim Saeed? <laughs> <laughs> so you know where I'm going on this one. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, so how about it? How much of Karim is you? Well, I, I would say, I mean, I would say a lot, but, but you are right in the sense that it's not like exclusive, but there is a part of me that is that kind of anal, Jesuit-trained <laughs> point of view about life. You seem to be caught off guard by the um, comparing you to Karim Saeed. Yeah, I totally. <laughs> I, because, you know, I don't think that way. I, I honestly don't think that way. So yeah. I, I, now I have to go back and look at all the tapes. <laughs> <laughs> For Definitely Not the Opera, I'm Minister Faust in Edmonton. Thank you.